Are you in need of auto repair? Or do you just want to make sure your car is running right? Then turn to your technician Gabriel Auto Technician in Laguna Heights. Turn to Gabriel for complete auto repairs and full service payments. They are AC certified and is full computerized diagnostic. They will service your heating and AC, fan belts, packing belts, brakes, including ABS, oil changes, and tune-ups. It's Gabriel Auto Technician at 413 Highway 100 in Laguna Heights. Open Monday through Saturday, turn to your technician, Gabriel Auto Technician. Gabriel Auto Technician in Laguna Heights. Okay, let's put the let's put the bracket the motor mount bracket this one see right here so we can uh, install Okay, we have the bracket right there. I need to put the belt tensioner right here, in here, right in there. See, and then put the pulley. Okay. Let's do this. Careful with the bolts. Okay, so I'll show you the next step and I'm gonna put the harmonic balancer. Okay, we have the tensioner on, we have the bracket right there, and now we're gonna install the harmonic balancer pulley. See, I put some oil right here because it, it goes under pressure, and uh, I put oil around here so look, to lubricate the, the seal. And um, let's push it in. All right. Okay. Yep. It's right there. It only have one or two threads in, but I'm gonna push it a little bit more. All right. See, it works. 
Right there, let's go. See? Went in there. All the way in. Right there, tight. Let's clean the oil. I think I'm gonna clean all this oil. And I'm going to put lock tight. See? Clean the thread. Clean everything. I'm gonna put lock tight to help. Not to, just to prevent. So this one doesn't get loose. I don't think it's gonna get loose because it's real tight, but that's gonna keep it in place. So let's wash the thread. Right there, it's good. Let's flush it with some air. Careful with your eyes. Okay, it's dry. Now let's put some lock tight on the thread. See, I'm using this. But I put some on, on the thread. So now let's put it back in. Let's get it tight. Right there. That's good. We need to put belt. And as you can see, the, this belt on the power steering gonna be a little bit difficult because it's a stretch it's a stretch belt there's no adjustment or there's no tensioner to put it on so I'm gonna have to use a special tool to do the installation but the special tool I don't think it's gonna fit right here so let's see what we can do okay let's put the belt like I say there's no tensioner on this belt so we're gonna have to use this tool to install it this one has a lip well it holds right here on this lip it's got a group right here I have a this one it's different this is a uninstaller and the installer too but uh, this one it's too big it's, it's not gonna fit in there See, right there it's going to turn, but on top, maybe it's not going to be enough room. I'm going to try with this red one. And, uh, and see what happens. If not, I'm going to see if I can use the other one. See, right there. Let me set my camera somewhere here. Let's see if right there. Can see. Okay, I'm gonna put this one right here, and then I'm gonna push the belt, and I'm gonna hold it right here. See? I'm gonna try it. It's a little bit difficult because there's no space, there's no room right here. Okay. Right there. Now let's turn the crank. Hope it works. If not, I'm gonna have to use the other one. Okay, let's go. Let's 
cold in there. Now you almost got it in. See? Right there. As you can see, it's turning now. See, I push it with the hand. And now it's going. Right there. It went in. Okay. That's it. Make sure it went in. That's it. So this tool works because there's no not, not much room in there in between. See, it holds right here on this lip, right here. So we got it in. This one is gonna be a little bit easier because it's got the tensioner right here. That's not too much trouble. But we got it, okay? I'll be back. Okay. We put the belt down there. Now let's put the motor mount right here. So we can put the other belt. Okay. Put this one in here. Careful with the connector right here. Right there. See? There's one in there. The bolts right there. Actually, this is the real height of the engine. It's, it's, it's right there in place. So we need to put the nuts and uh, bolts right here. And then we can put this one, these things on top. Okay, let's uh, gap these uh, iridium spark plugs. They go on 52. Vamos a ver. Oh, este video lo estaba haciendo en español e inglés, ¿verdad? Se me olvidó que lo estaba haciendo en español e inglés. Pues, llevo tanto tiempo aquí trabajando en este carro. Que llegaban otros carros, llegaban otros trabajos. Y este trabajo es un poquito delicado. Pero ya vamos terminando. Let's check the gap on this uh, spark plugs. It should be 0 0.052. Okay, and because the tip is real um, fine, be careful. You need to open the the, the the ground with the pliers or something. Okay. Vamos a ponerle a ajustar el la abertura de esto de 3 a 52. Okay. Ahí está. No vamos a, a doblar este con, con esto porque muchas veces se las de cobre. Vamos esto y lo nomás lo hacemos así y ya. Se, pero eso es el tiempo está bien. La puntita está bien finita. So, no es bueno usar este como palanca. We're using a uh, pliers to open the ground see, because there's no way we can use this one and, and, and twist it. On the copper ones we can use it but not on these ones. This is a different different tip, real fine tip. So that's the thing. Okay that's one. Close. Open it. A bit. Not much. A bit. Okay right there. In there. Okay. 
Okay. Right there. Vamos a ponerla aquí atrás. Okay. Let's screw it all the way down by hand. See? We don't want to force it. So we can cross thread it, damage the engine head. Y les decía que debemos de enroscarlas todo, todo hasta abajo para que no se vaya a dañar el carro de la cabeza. Okay, now let's tight. Right there. Okay. Right there. Muy bien. Muy bien. Ok, ahora vamos a poner las bobinas, ¿sí? Now let's put the coils back on its place. Vamos a poner un poquito de manteca de esta. Let's put some di dielectric grease to prevent the uh, moisture getting to the spark plug in between the spark plug and the boot. Sometimes it's hard to remove it because this one gets stuck to the to the spark plug. Okay, let's push it in right there. Now let's put on this one right here. Si vamos a ponerle esta gasa y eléctrica para prevenir que se peguen bueno principalmente para la humedad verdad que no le entre humedad y para prevenir que se peguen esto con la bujía muchas veces esto se pega con el con el tiempo acá adentro se pega y cuando quiere sacar la bobina es muy duro y se rompe la botita lo vamos a ponerlo ahí así y vamos a ponerle a todas Let's put some grease to all of them. Okay, we don't need too much. We just need a little bit. So not too much. Okay. Right there. Okay, now let's put the bolt that holds the spark plug, the spark the um, coils. Okay, let's tight. Back there. Okay. We got that. We need to run wires and we need to put this housing right here. Okay, we got the coils right there. Ya pusimos las bobinas. Ahora vamos a conectar los alambres de la computadora. Todos los alambres, conexiones, todo eso. Necesitamos poner también esto que dije hace rato. We need to put, connect these wires. Start to connect the, all the wires. Right here. And, uh, Make sure everything is going to be on its place, like the other parts, all the grounds need to be connected. 
Browns can cause a lot of trouble. So, you need to connect them. Sí. Tiene que ir todo en su lugar, como hemos hecho con otras partes, con todo lo mecánico. El mundo eléctrico tiene que ir bien conectado. Todas las tierras tienen que ir en su lugar. ¿Eh? Porque una tierra puede causarles muchos problemas. Ahí está. Ok. Vamos a apretar la tierra aquí de una vez. Ok. Okay, we need to put this bracket right here and the other one that connects, connects, connects the, the mount. This one right here. Sounds good. Okay, let's get this one tight. All right. Got it. Let's put this and uh, thermostat housing right here. Let's connect everything right here. Let me run this one all the way there. Connect the injector, coils, injectors, and everything. Okay, let's clean right here. Okay. Let's put this one. This outlet, inlet outlet. Okay. I'm going to install the thermostat first. Right here, so I don't have to install it in there. Got the thermostat right here. This is the port number if you want it. If you want to know. If you want to know. It's uh, 15, 13, 8. Right there. So that pingo needs to be on top. See, on top. See, this one goes like that. So this one needs to be on top for the vapor to escape right there. See? Okay. This is the gasket for this housing. And this is the gasket for this uh, thermostat. Okay. This is the, 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 the housing, it goes right there, okay? So here we go, let's put this gasket right here, and now let's put this one, I'm going to put some oil right here so I can slide it right here so it won't push this one down, see, not here, here, just here, 
or we can put some silicone so it can help not to get rusty right there but anyways this pipe sooner or later is going to be rust let's push it in in there let's put the three bolts right here tight now let's connect the hoses right there see okay let me put the nut right here on this right there all right now let's get this one Okay, we got everything on right here. We just need to put the upper plenum. Okay. Okay, put the new gaskets or rings, molded rubber. Need to install it. Gabriel Auto Technician of Laguna Heights reminds you to be ready for the hot days of summer. Get your preventative maintenance now and save money tomorrow. All types of maintenance repairs for your auto, air conditioning, heating, turn ups, brakes, transmission, cooling systems, van belts, ball joints. If it's on the car, Gabriel Auto can fix it or replace it. Featuring computerized diagnostics. Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100, Laguna Heights. That's Gabriel Auto Technician, 413 Highway 100 in 